Welcome back everyone, I'm Eric from Rare Candy, and today we are back checking out some more Shining Fates cards, and we're going to be showing off a deck I, I played on stream the other night over on my Twitch, uh, and it was kind of fun, so I wanted to show it off here on YouTube as well, and that is going to be Galarian Weezing. So Galarian Weezing is a card, pretty interesting, just hasn't really done a whole lot up until this point, but we did get a new coughing in Shining Fates, which at a glance doesn't look like much, it's got 60 HP, Fighting Weakness, it's just a common... Doesn't look too impressive, but Ascension is actually kind of a decent attack. So for a Dark Energy, we can just search a deck for a Galarian Weezing immediately evolve. So that means if we are going second on our first turn, we can just attach Dark Energy and immediately start ability locking our opponent with Galarian Weezing. So that's what we are going to be attempting to build around today. But before we get any deeper in this deck, if you guys can remember, smack that like button. It genuinely does help get this video seen by more people. And if you need any cards to complete this deck or any others, you can check out our friends at ptcgostore.com. Use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money. And our patrons at patreon.com slash RAREcandyTCG actually have an exclusive discount of their own for even bigger savings. But hopping back into the actual deck, guys, let's just go over some of these key cards if you need a refresher on them. So Galarian Weezing, stage one, came out back in Rebel Clash, has this neutralizing gas ability. When this guy's in the active spot, your opponent has no abilities for any other Pokemon in play. Pretty solid ability. Uh, severe Poison for a Dark Energy also automatically poisons our opponent, but they take four damage counters in between turns instead of one. So, you know, this guy is not putting on a whole lot of pressure, but the idea is we want to slow down our opponent to our pace of play uh, since we're not taking these big one-hit knockouts. So we have a couple ways at sort of doubling down on this strategy here. So if we are looking at some of the other key cards, we have four copies of Crushing Hammer for a very similar reason. Uh, just because, again, we don't want our opponent to really have an aggressive start, put on a lot of pressure. We want to ability lock them, slow them down so they can't use things like the Dene, Crobat, Eldegoss, etc. And Crushing Hammer can slow them down by making sure they can't attack, you know, not quite as easily. And Crushing Hammer is actually kind of important for a few different cards out there, most notably the Aromatic Grass Energy. Because if we play against a Decidueye deck or a or Beetle deck and they play Aromatic Grass, we're going to be in bad shape because that's going to stop our poison. So we need Crushing Hammers to deal with that. And also ADP. We really need Crushing Hammers to have any shot in that match at all. So these are kind of a necessary evil in the deck right now. But to double down on our whole poison strategy, we also have three copies of Toxicroak for the more poison ability. Pretty straightforward ability name. Uh, whenever this guy is in play, your opponent's Pokemon takes two more damage counters between turns from Poison. And this does stack, so if we have three Toxicroak in play, that means they're going to be taking 10 damage counters between every turn from our Galarian Weezing. I think more often than not, we're just going to have two in play, but even still, that's enough to really start putting a dent in your opponent between every single turn. Uh, looking at the rest of our Pokemon, we have a copy of Mew in the deck. This is going to protect against things like Kramer and V. Also against like Tag Bolt from Picarom. Um, we have a copy of Absol as well. So Absol is going to just be here to increase our opponent's retreat cost. Uh, and really the reason why that's important is because between Crushing Hammer and Absol, that kind of makes it difficult for our opponent to manually retreat out of play. Uh, but if they have Switch, that's where things get a little bit annoying for us. But luckily we do have a way to attempt to deal with that as well. So if they do have the Switch, we are playing some copies of Dust Island in the deck as well. So when your opponent switches their active with a card like Switch or Bird Keeper, as an example, that new Pokemon they switch into is going to be Poison, so that Poison is going to carry over to the new active. So again, we are prepared. If they can physically retreat, you know, we have the Hammers and the Absol. If they have the Switch, we got the Dust Island. So we are ready to keep that Poison in play and keep that Poison Train a chugging. But uh, yeah, then from there, just one Crobat V to round out our Pokemon. Don't really want to rely too heavily on these multi-prize Pokemon, uh, just because we're not really putting on a whole lot of pressure. And that gives our opponent some time to chase down some of these multi-prizers. But I do like the one Crobat because we are playing the heavy count of peers in this deck. And having just the one of Crobat always allows us an out to just grab a card like this to refresh our hand if we need to. But speaking of peers, looking at our supporter line does look a little bit different since we don't have something like a Jirachi engine or Dedenes or any of that stuff. We do have to play more physical copies of supporters in this deck. So as you can see, we have our four research for Marnie, but we do have the four copy of peers uh, just because this grabs us a energy and a dark Pokemon put it into our hand. So a lot of times this is going to allow us to just easily grab that dark energy we need to ascension on turn one. 
And also, like I said, Pierce can not only get Crobat, but also our evolutions if we do need them as well. Uh, we have three copies of U-Turn Board. This is really just to make sure we can retreat turn one if we uh, don't start our coughing. And that way we can still get the turn one ability lock up and running. And we also have a copy of Tool Scrapper as well in the deck. So this is going to be able to get rid of things like Big Charm or Stealthy Hood. Uh, there's just a number of cards where Tool Scrapper can be good against. So Tool Scrapper definitely seemed good for the list. Um, also, too, if they're playing Big Parasol, I don't think we're probably going to run into that. But if they are playing that, that would be a little bit annoying for us. So the Tool Scrapper will help against that if we do run into that as well. And then from there, we just have a Energy 4, which being the Hiding Darks, just to give us a little bit more flexibility in terms of who we want to actually attack with. But that's going to be the list we're going to be trying out, guys. Uh, let's hop in some games and see if Galarian Weezing is a little bit better now that we have this coughing now in the mix. All right, so our opponent's got like a fighting deck box, fighting coin. Not sure if that really tells us much about what we're playing against. This could be a deck that plays Lycanroc GX, but uh, if it is fighting, more than likely going to be Colossal. And yikes, not a particularly great opening either. Having to toss our Ordinary Rod with Research is going to be kind of rough here. So yeah, I'm not a really big fan of how this is going. Okay, it's going to be Santa Cana. So I think this should be a perfectly reasonable matchup for us. Yeah, I think we can probably take down this deck here. Uh, there's going to be Rolly Coley. All right, so we're just going to get down the Krogunk. Let's see. Man, I just don't want to toss this rod and two energy. That means we only have five for the rest of the game. Can we live with that? Like, can we actually win a game with just five energy? <laughs> well, I guess we only have four Weezing, so... Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to have to do the thing. Yikes, and we don't even get... <laughs> we don't even get a coughing either. Okay, so we're just going to have to go for the Stampede. First time I've ever used this attack. I mean, next turn, we, we do have the Piers. So we can go Pierce, grab Coughing, use our Hiding Dark Energy to evolve into Weezing. Okay, there's going to be a Research. Now, if we can get our Weezing set before they get their Colossal, we're going to be in a good spot because they really do need their Colossal every turn. Because every turn with Santa Conda, they're going to be discarding two energy. Um, yeah, so I think actually their best play here is to attempt to attack with Colossal because Colossal doesn't actually require that it discards energy so they can get multiple attacks from a colossal in a game okay pass with us no energy Ooh, okay i mean that that's definitely good for us so we're just gonna go for the peers we don't really need too much else here so let's go for the call thing and we did prize one kind of annoying uh and then from there we'll just go for a dark energy I don't know if it matters too much. We'll just say sure, that's fine. So we'll get down a hiding dark over here as well. Um, we have communication, so we can communicate probably Absol way if I had to guess. That seems probably best. Um, I kind of want to get a second coughing just in case of some shenanigans on this next turn. I would like to get Toxic Croak set up as well, since we would get in some chip damage a little quicker. Um, I guess what are the odds something, what are the odds we could get knocked out? I feel like it's gotta be really low. I'm actually gonna say we're gonna go for the Toxic Croak. I don't think they're gonna have a KO on this next turn. I could be wrong. Don't get, don't get mistaken, but right now, I'm not seeing that happen. Oh wait, we're actually going to be using Ascension, not our Poison attack, so... Forgot about that. So, eh, maybe this actually would have been better as a coughing, but either way, it's fine. We're not going to get knocked out this turn, uh, and we'll just go for the Ascension here. Go for a Weezing. Okay, yeah, so I forgot we were going for the Ascension, not the Severe Poison this turn. Had the Weezing in hand, I was getting ahead of myself there. So, yeah, there should have been another coughing, that way we could evolve into this Weezing, but it's okay. I don't think it's really going to impact anything. Okay, we get the Marnie. That's cool as well. 
Uh, like I said, I don't think we were really in any danger of being knocked out here. And now that we're ability locking them, I feel like we're in a really good spot overall. Okay, so they're just going to go for the sand eater for 60. So that's cool. We can live with that. So we're going to get down a U-turn board. Probably down here since we have the... Um, or actually, we could even do it on the active just to get it back into our hand after they knock us out. No, we'll do it on Krobo. That's fine. Uh, get down our Dust Island. Do we actually play the Crobat V? I feel like if there's nothing we need, we'd actually kind of prefer to toss Crobat. So for that reason, we're just going to go for the research. That way we don't have to give up another bench spot. Okay, so we can definitely live with this. So we will... Yeah, we'll communicate our Krogunk back in deck. Grab a coughing. Now I think we're going to be in a really good spot, guys. Because we're going to have two Toxic Croaks up and running. Uh, can we get rid of the... I guess, sure, we get rid of the energy here. Okay, that's cool. It is unfortunate their first attack can get energy back, but hey, it is what it is, guys. So from there, we'll go for the Severe Poison. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about the spot we're in. They're taking eight between every turn. We have the Dust Island, so if they do switch into something else, uh, the new Pokemon is going to be Poison as well. So at this point, I mean, we've stabilized pretty well. I There's going to be a boss. That's cool. Okay, just going to go for the easy KO on the coughing. I'm actually kind of okay with that, to be honest. Um, well, actually... Okay, they're just going to go for the Sandy. That's fine. We have Pierce, so we can guarantee a coughing this turn if we need to. Um, so this is going to boost them up to 270. Ah, oh, that's such an annoying amount of damage. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the Piers over here. Go for a Coughing. And another Hiding Dark. That's cool. Uh, we're going to go for another Crushing Hammer. Okay. So this does force them to... Yeah, so they actually won't be able to knock out our active now. Because they'll only be doing 60. So I think for that reason, we're actually just going to do this. Uh, we do not, unfortunately, have a supporter for next turn. So, or a draw supporter. So if we go for the Ascension here, this will at least thin a Weezing out of our deck. And this will prevent something like a Dojo coming down and KOing us uh, with a Sand Eater. Okay, and there's the dojo. So that's what I was talking about. Getting on the fresh wheezing. Definitely going to be important here. Okay, so yeah. Definitely a good move on our part. And luckily the Santa Cana is going to get knocked out. Coming back into our turn here. And we get the victory screen. So yeah. Taking down the Colossal deck pretty convincingly. Granted, they had a slow start. But their deck is really reliant on those abilities. And uh, yeah, seems like a pretty good matchup for us. Okay, so we are going to lose the flip, but luckily, most of the time... Oh my god. They're going to make us go first. Oh my god, they're trolling us so hard. Okay, this is still an okay hand to go first with, but man. People on PTCGO, I feel like they just instinctually know when I'm playing this Weezing deck, and they always make me go first instead of second. Um, yeah, we'll just click done for the moment. That's cool. Okay, the Jirachi doesn't tell us too much, um, but we'll just do this. And from there, just pass over to our opponent. I really don't want to research away two boss. Okay, it's going to be some sort of fire deck. So more than likely, sent to Scorch if they are playing Volk. Probably a good sign they're not playing uh, Blacephalon. Okay, looks like they're going to go for another switch. Hey, them burning their switches is actually really good early on because... That means they'll have less to use on like the late game once we start getting some poison damage in. But next turn, we are really going to be looking for Weezing and Toxicroak. Because Volk has 120 HP, so if we can get the poison off, that's going to be 6 damage counters. Then another 6 coming back into our turn. So, that's what we're hoping for at least. Okay, there is a Dedene, so... 
If we would have gotten to go second, um, well, actually, it's not true. They would just do the dead age change either way. I was going to say, if we went second, we could have ability locked them, but that's not the case. There's going to be a boss hang the discard. I'm cool with that as well. Another switch down. That is big. That is definitely big. Okay, there's going to be another quick ball. Probably going to see a scent of Scorch if I had to guess. Oh, ditto. Okay, very interesting. So, ditto, I'm curious. They definitely need to evolve this thing, or not evolve, but the transformation, like, stat, because we're going to shut this guy off in just a second. Like, yeah, if they Flare Starter all this energy to ditto, they're going to be kind of bummed when they realize what Galarian Weezing does. <laughs> Maybe they have a boss in hand. That could be the case. Otherwise, there's really no point in going for this. Okay, so we will get down Mew because more than likely they're playing Cramorant. So let's actually... We have Crushing Hammers as well. So we'll just go for a Crushing Hammer here. Okay. Yikes. Uh, we will get down the Mew. And from there, unfortunately, we are going to toss two boss, which feels bad, but... Okay... Um, we don't have Weezing, but, I mean, we can Ascension into it. Like, let's not get it confused, but I really want this Poison Damage this turn in particular. So let's do this. I'm actually just going to toss away our Crushing Hammers. I don't think we need it. Volcast to two-shot us. So let's do... Get rid of this guy here. And let's just go for our Crobat. Feels bad burning Crobat so early, but I mean, this is why you play it. You play it for turns that you want to dig and find exactly what you need, you know? So let's go. Whew, and we do it. But the good news is we can still use Ascension, get into our Weezing right away here, um, and at least start ability locking. That's that's the big thing. So now this Ditto can't actually transform. They can't use Stellar Wish. They can't use Zigzagoon, anything like that. So there's going to be Giant Heart. That's cool. We have the Counter Stadium ready to go here as well. Uh, but if they do have Ditto V Max, you know, this actually still could be worth powering up. All right. So we'll get down Dust Island yet again. So we're just going to go for the Piers. I think I'm actually just going to set up another Toxicroak if possible. And just kind of leave. Yeah, I really don't want to get any other energy, to be honest. So we'll do that. We'll get down a Hiding Dark over on this little guy over here. And from there, we're just going to go for the Severe Poison. And now this Volk is going to get knocked out, coming back into our turn. Yeah, another Ditto V. So, I mean, if we never break this ability lock, then that's going to be really good for our deck. Because they don't have a whole lot to really attack with unless they have Ditto V Max. I'm assuming they have at least one if they're playing multiple copies. Uh, but even still, Ditto V Max, not the best attacker against us because they can really only copy our attacks. Hey, busted top deck, we will be happy to take that. Another Crow Gunk. Don't really need more than two in play. And we want to save this bench spot for another coughing. So let's go for the coordinate rod, get back, of course, the 1-1 one, one wheezing. And really for this turn, we just want to find coughing, and that's that's about it. So I'm going to get down energy on Crobat, because that puts us one energy away from attacking with this. That also leaves Mew open as an attacking option for just a single attachment as well. And just go for the research. And we get coughing. Okay, so we found what we needed this turn. And we're just going to go for the Severe Poison. But it could be bad for us, though. Even if they switch, they could potentially go, like, switch into Ditto V, get Poison, then evolve out of the Poison, which would be annoying. Oh. Now, Ndidi is annoying. Well, no, Ndidi isn't annoying because they cannot use their ability. Okay, there's going to be the switch. I hope they did not forget about... Okay, yeah, so they're just going to have to sacrifice the Jirachi. We are A-OK -okay with that. Absolutely. Alrighty, so we're just going to attach to our Weezing over here. Then just go for the Piers. 
We really don't need a whole lot, guys, to be honest. So, um, what do we want? Probably just another coughing in case our active goes down, and probably a hiding dark. Or if we top deck a research, I would rather have the basic dark, so. Because if they don't knock us out and we have to discard our hand, I'd rather toss away a basic dark than a hiding dark. So I want to kind of conserve this resource if possible. Um, actually, maybe in hindsight, we should have grabbed a wheezing because we have the quick ball. Either way, this is fine. We're still in a good spot. So we're just going to pass over to our opponent here and take the, the prize on little Jirachi. Get a U-turn board. Don't really care about that, but I mean, we can actually live off this hand for a few turns, guys. We don't really need too much. We just want to see coughings, wheezings, and energy. And we have a coughing energy. And uh, okay, so they are going to get rid of our stadium, which is a bummer because we are out of Dust Islands now. Um, but you know, we can live with that. I mean, we really don't need a whole lot, guys. So again, we're just going to go for the severe poison and keep being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so this guy's going to get KO'd coming back, or going into our opponent's turn, unfortunately, but they're not doing a whole lot. They are just living off their top deck, which is fine with us. We are happy just taking our time, sitting back, letting them accumulate poison damage here. And yeah, if, without their Stellar Wish, I mean, you can see their deck's just like crumbling apart. There's a Marnie. Definitely not playing that card. Absolutely not. The good news is, even if they have Ditto V Max, their deck's really not built in a way to support like the poison strategy. Okay, there's gonna be a butter. So they are not out of this game just yet. Because they can poison us for four, but we can just retreat and poison them for eight. Yeah, and there's the victory screen. So pretty commanding dub over the Ditto deck. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our look here at the updated Galarian Weezing deck. So if I'm just being honest, I don't know how competitive this deck is. This is definitely going to be more of a fun one. But I mean, nevertheless, you can be surprised by how many games you can just steal just from going like Crushing Hammer Ascension turn one. Um, you know, like even some of the big big decks like ADP, Eternatus. I've stolen so many wins just by playing uh, this deck and getting out the turn one ability lock. And if you're looking to switch things up on PTCGO, definitely feel free to try this one out. It's a pretty cheap deck, pretty easy to get all the cards for this one. But that's going to be it today, guys. If you did enjoy today's content, of course, smack that like button, subscribe, turn on those notifications, all that good stuff. And if you want to go the extra step, you can also support this channel by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.